Are you tired of generating small images in Comfy UI? Well, turn your 512 by 512 into 2K, 4K, 1920 by 1080, or whatever dimensions you want with a clear picture without making them blurry or muddy. In this video, I'll show you how to properly upscale your images in Comfy UI using upscale models. We'll install two of the best, 4X Ultra Sharp and 4X Anime. One is for more photorealistic, and the other is for more of an anime art style. And I'll show you the standard workflow so you can build it yourself, or you can go to my Patreon and download it yourself. Now that we're inside Comfy UI, you can see the three nodes that we're going to be adding it today. You don't have to use all of them, but it's highly recommended. This is also the basic workflow. It's what we're going to be building off. Before we start, we have to go into the Models Manager and install the proper models. So go to the Manager, go down to Model Manager, go to Type, scroll down to where it says Upscale. In the search bar, type Upscale. And then you will find the 4X Anime Sharp and the 4X Ultra Sharp and install both of these. You can test and install any of the ones you want, but in this video, we're just covering these two. The 2X, 4X, or 8X are just multiplications of your image. So if you have an image that's 1000 by 1000 and you use it four times, it's going to upscale it four times. So it's going to be 4000 by 4000. Now that you've installed these models, simply go back. You can update your Comfy UI if you need to, but you also have to restart it. And once it restarts, simply refresh your browser and you'll be ready to use it inside your workflow. Before we get into actually adding them to the workflow, let's go over them real quick. The load upscale model is exactly that. It's choosing what model you use in your workflow. So if you're using more of a realistic image, you're going to use a 4X Ultra Sharp. If you're upscaling more of an anime, you're going to use a 4X Anime. Next is the upscale image node. This one takes your 4X upscaled image and resizes it if you want to. You don't necessarily have to, that's why it's optional. Next is the upscale method. You really don't have to worry about this, but if you are concerned, I'll leave what each one does in the description. But we can just set it to bicubic and it should work fine. The upscale image node using model is simply the computer processing all the data. Now that we've covered them, we can add them to the workflow. I have the basic workflow here. I'm going to delete the grouping because we don't need it for right now. I'm going to go after VAE decode and delete save image. Now we're going to load the node load upscale model. From there, we're going to drag, drop, and then click Image Upscale with Model. We're going to connect the VAD code to the upscale image using Model Node. This is optional, but I like adding a preview image. So from the VAD code, I'm going to drag it and add a preview image. This simply gives you what the image is going to look like after a normal workflow without going through the upscaling process. So you don't necessarily have to have any workflow, but I enjoy having it there. From the upscale image using model node, you're going to drag from the image and add save image. Now your workflow is complete and you can reorganize it to make it however you need the workflow to look. Now that you've got your workflow set up and organized how you like it, let's verify with Checkpoint or LoRa. I'm not going to be using one in this one, so I'm going to bypass it. Your positive and negative prompts, your case sampler attributes, your resolution starting point, your load upscale model. And simply hit run. Now we have the same image upscaled four times without losing any of the quality. Also, let me take a second to scroll out and show you what it would look like in my condensed node. I have my one click sampler, then the extra upscaling nodes, the preview image, and the save <clears> image. <throat> on the top is the basic workflow, and on the bottom is my condensed one with my custom node. If you want it, you can download it on Patreon for free. Okay, that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. It will really help my channel out a lot. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, need advice on troubleshooting tips, or if you want me to make a specific video in the future. Thank you. Bye.